Oh, absolutely. It's like LeBron James is playing a totally different sport compared to what we had back in the day. I mean, if he was transported back to the 80s and 90s, he'd probably have to deal with some serious time travel culture shock. LeBron James with his superhuman athleticism, sprinting down the court like a gazelle while the defenders from the 80s and 90s are like, what on earth is this 6'9 locomotive coming at us? They'd be grabbing onto their short shorts, trying to keep up with them, but he'd be soaring through the air like a majestic eagle, dunking over everyone in sight. Hey, hey, hold on a second. We're talking about 80s and 90s basketball here. And let me tell you, those players were tough as nails, okay? They didn't have time for Let It Go like a Disney movie. We're talking about real grit, not singing princesses. But seriously, comparing the 80s to the 90s and beyond is like trying to decide, oh, LeBron James the king himself. There's no doubt he's an incredible player. The guy's like a freight train on the court, just running through defenders like they're made of tissue paper. But you know what's funny? If LeBron played back in the 80s, people might have mistaken the smell of gin for his trail, as he'd be leaving defenders dizzy and disoriented in his wake. They'd be reaching for the Gatorade bottle, not to quench their thirst, but to recover from the whirlwind that just passed them by. Now let's talk about that infamous cocaine era. Can you imagine LeBron playing at that time? He's all about discipline and taking care of his body, so you won't find any white powder hidden in his socks. He's got his eyes on the ball, not on any substances. And speaking of fouls, defenders in the 80s thought hacking was their secret weapon, but LeBron's got skills that transcend any era. He's like a basketball maestro, dancing around defenders and leaving them scratching their heads, wondering what just happened. LeBron's game is a beautiful blend of power, finesse, and basketball IQ. He's like a fine wine, getting better with age, and there's no doubt he'd be a dominant force in any era. So let's raise a glass to the king. LeBron James, a player for the ages, who'd shine no matter where or when he played. I mean, defense in the 80s was something else. Clotheslining players? It's like they were auditioning for WWE. Those guys were like, oh, you think you can score? Not on my watch, buddy. But let's be real, it wouldn't fly in today's game. The referees would blow their whistles so hard they'd pass out. And you know what's funny? The less talented players would try to keep up with the superstars of the era, and it was like watching a bunch of baby deer on ice. It was entertaining for sure. So let's agree that every era had its charm and quirks. 80s basketball might not be the same as today's, but it sure was entertaining in its own wild and crazy way. Now, who's up for some slam dunks and tacos? Let's have a fun time. No hard fouls allowed. I can just imagine the funny interviews after the game. The 80s players would be like, well, you see, back in our day, we played physical basketball. Mano a mano. Damn, these guys today are like superheroes on the court. It's like they're playing a different sport altogether. And let's not forget LeBron's legendary passing ability. He'd be dishing out no-look behind-the-back passes to bewildered teammates, leaving the 80s players scratching their heads, wondering if he had eyes on the back of his head. But you know what? It's all in good fun. LeBron James is undoubtedly one of the greatest players of all time, and his impact on the game is undeniable. His skills, athleticism, and basketball IQ are simply out of this world. Whether you're a fan of his or not, you can't deny the sheer joy and entertainment he brings to the sport. And hey, while we're at it, let's appreciate the current generation of athletes as well. They're pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible on the court, and it's a thrill to watch them play. So here's to LeBron James and the entire new generation of athletes. May they continue to entertain us with their mind-boggling talents and keep us laughing with their incredible plays. In a world where athleticism knows no bounds and dunks defy gravity, one man stands above them all. Okay, okay, I know it's not a movie, but you gotta admit, it'd be a blockbuster showdown. LeBron James, the 6'9 basketball juggernaut, would be speeding down the court like a rocket, while the old school players try to catch their breath. I mean, imagine the look on their faces. I mean, the old school players had some serious skills, but LeBron, he's like a Greek god of basketball, forged in the fires of Mount Hoop Olympus. Back in our day, we thought we were in great shape, but LeBron looks like he's sculpted from marble or something. And folks, let's not forget about LeBron's passing wizardry. He'd be dishing out no-look behind-the-back dimes like a basketball magician. The 80s players would be bamboozled. Where did it go? I need a GPS for that pass. <laughs> oh man, that would be a match for the ages. LeBron James, the modern-day magic with defensive prowess, facing off against the legends of the 80s. It'd be like a game of basketball chess. Checkmate anyone? LeBron James in the 80s, a mythical basketball tale we can only dream of. But hey, let's cherish the era we have now with LeBron dazzling us every game. Who knows, maybe he'll invent a time machine someday and settle this debate once and for all. 
Until then, keep ballin' and keep those time-traveling dreams alive. Jeez, can you imagine LeBron James in the 90s? Facing those burly, hand-checking defenders? They'd be like a bunch of brick walls trying to stop a gazelle on the court. It'd be like watching a ballet dancer trying to groove in a mosh pit. And let's not forget the three-point situation. Back then, they'd be like, hey, LeBron, you want to shoot threes? And he'd be like, nah, I'll just stick to my fadeaways and monster dunks, thank you very much. But you know what? Even with all those challenges, LeBron would still find a way to make his mark, because he's LeBron freaking James. He'd probably spin around those defenders like a breakdancer and leave them scratching their heads, wondering where he went. And when it comes to offense, he'd be like a mad scientist, cooking up some mind-boggling plays that no one would see coming. Sure, the 90s might not have been the ideal playground for LeBron's finesse, but hey, if there's one thing we knew about him, it's that he can adapt like a chameleon on the court. So whether it's the 90s, the 2000s, or the 3000s, yeah, time travel basketball, why not? LeBron would still be a legend making jaws drop and opponents quake in their high top sneakers. So there you have it, dear viewers. LeBron James would be an absolute force to be reckoned with in any era. But hey, let's cherish the greatness of both past and present players. They all bring their unique magic to the court. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below.